Hi and welcome. We are going to take a look at Miniature Pastoral by Frank Bridge. Delighted to be looking at this at the request of Melanie. And this piece was first published in 1917 and this picture is taken from that very first edition. It's a very beautiful piece, 60 odd bars in triple meter, we're in D minor, and it's an opportunity to play very expressively. There are three signs in the music for us to slow down. There are three signs for us to play dolce, to play sweetly. And there are four markings that tell us to play expressively, not to mention lots of dynamic signs as well. So real heart on sleeve stuff from 1917. What I think we're going to do, we're going to work through it pretty much hands together from the offset, but I'm going to go nice and slowly and, and discuss things as we go. At the beginning, we've got these four bar phrases with a very slow three beat to each note melody moving along. And that melody alternates, of course, between the hands. And at the start, I'm going to play with no pedal at all, taking care to hold on to that melody. So nice and steady, let's give that a first four bars a try. I'm thinking for now, nice and steady, I'm not even looking at the metronome mark for my practice. So something like that, one, two, three, one, two, three. Got the fourth finger down to that F. So this hand playing legato, this hand playing staccato. incorporate that into your scale practice, couldn't you? Just to get the coordination ready. The next four bar phrase, we have a dolce sign. We had a piano and an espressivo sign at the start. It's more complex because our melody is now here. Yeah, that slidey thing works really well, I think. While we've got an accompaniment down here, let's try that. Again, just the coordination to get that and that together. And to add more confusion. That's a bit unusual. Taking us, of course, to D minor to finish that, that section. You could start with a second finger if you wish to, but it does put a lot of stress on the hand. And I think I would run with that sliding of the thumb there. Let's put both together. No pedal at all. I don't think it doesn't really doesn't need it at this point. The next section is very similar, similar sort of eight bars, but this time we're gonna end in F major as opposed to D minor. Let's have a listen. Left hand, one, two, three. Growing to there. And more complicated again we're going to do a sliding thumb thing and what's particularly tricky is that we're going to want a little bit more volume a bit more tone on the melody but then quiet for the chordy bits uh, and that will need some practice the next section, so I'm now at bar 17. Let's have a listen. A bit of pedal here, as indicated in the ABRSM booklet. Let's have a think. One, two, three. Okay, accent on that F, a little counter melody. Well, it's another melody up at the top. And just descending, slow held notes, lots of tone. And we're mezzo forte here, so we're definitely at a higher dynamic than we were at the start. Very beautiful sigh there, isn't there? Then, forte. So what's happening? In my right hand there from 19, I'm doing the fifth finger under. That just works for me. You could do third, of course. Felt it fine. And then I'm doing four, three, Again, fifth finger under. Let's have a listen. Now 
well, they're actually playing it with no pedal at all. Uh, it, it works really well. It, it really doesn't need the pedal, but in the ABRSM booklet, there is a suggestion for pedal. Let's add, let's try that. Pedal off, pedal down, down, up. So I'm just following exactly what it says in the booklet. Your call, I think. Then what happens? Okay, and the, metal is, the melodies are moving around between the hands, aren't they? This chromatic line continuing in the left hand. Okay, really smooth from one chord to the other, making sure that the notes are really together. And keep going. And now move the hand. That's an A. It would be so difficult to read these notes with lots of ledger lines. And that D belongs to that shape not to the right hand, so I've exaggerated a bit. Yeah, take care to make sure that the melody is what is meant to be the melody. It's very easy to make that D part of the melody, which it ain't. From 25, one, two, three. You're going to have to lift your hand off to go and grab the new position. Let's go for it. So we've got this bell-like thing going on with our fifth finger. Really ring those notes out whilst there's a chromatic parallel thing going on. I would want to work it out to see what's... Let's read it through. Left hand. Feel the beat. Hmm. Meanwhile, the right hand, try and use the finger you'll actually end up using. Feel the first beat of the bar, which will have that bell thing going on. Put them both together. Definitely just, just practice that a little bit and get that, that flowing and then add the bell. <laughs> no, that very first thing is difficult, really difficult. The, the notion of getting one finger louder than the other. Uh, go for it, give it a try. But it's very difficult, so <laughs> don't worry too much about it. Then we'll have to let go of that E in order to play the rest of that bar, bar 31, 32. Then a different phrase. Don't be afraid to move your hand off the keyboard there. In fact, I'd advise you to, because it's a new phrase. And then you may want to do the repeat if you're performing it or videoing it yourself. If you're doing the exam, then carry straight on. There's a poco writ there as well, isn't there? We're gonna slow up. So let's keep going. Fifth finger on the bottom there. So we're going to use the pedal now once per bar. So those notes aren't going to be staccato. They're going to be more, that's a slightly staccato touch, but they're going to be more linked in. Okay, really smooth lines down the bottom, holding onto the notes as much as we can. Sense of growing. Yeah, get the third finger to the left sharp because we're going to head down. And the only thing we're going to play there will be the octave B flats because we've held the D. I do. I just love these chords. They're gorgeous. Let's go. Let's go back a bit. Just being indulgent here. the tempo back up. Super smooth top line. Same thing moves to the left hand. I'm wanting to lean a bit on that G because that is the fundamental of that harmony. It's a G7 chord, isn't it, going on? Dolcissimo. 
and it says no pedal in the ABR7 edition there, but I would want to join that F. I'm holding it with the pedal now to that chord. Keep the pedal down, keep the pedal down. All of those two bars belong to the same harmony. It links into with the pedal that chord. So I was heading an octave too low there. Take your time at the end. Rit dolcissimo ppp. Very, very quiet and hushed. It's a really lovely piece. Now I'm going to finish off by playing it all the way through, but I'm not trying to give a performance of it, this is me practicing it. So at the speed at which I can think about all the details that we've been talking about. I don't know that this is, def is a good thing to do in your own practice, do this kind of thing but in smaller chunks, but for now let's see if I can get through the whole piece in that way. And I'll talk through some of the things that I'm thinking about as I go. So piano espressivo, I'm setting myself a sensible steady pace here we go one two three nice melody short chords slide the thumb as smoothly as i can over the top bit awkward that left hand growing heading for there and dying back dolce chords, lots of tone on the melody, okay, a bit more going on, a bit louder, smooth, even more, get that fifth finger under, quiet now, new position, Have a pedal there just to link up there, but not essential, I don't think. I got the wrong finger there, I should have put the third finger on the B flat. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, which finger down here? Fifth, because I'm heading up with my left hand smoothly. Now I need the third because I'm heading down just the B flats there. Lovely chord, and I'm slowing down there. A tempo, fifth under. Lots of pedals still going on here. Once per bar. Very quiet. Hold the pedal down for that bar and that bar and that bar and that bar. Right the way up to the A. Now I want the F to link up to that with the pedal. Dolce, very, very hushed. My fingers are on the keys. And the pedal comes up at the moment that I push the keys down. Oh, that was not too low. <laughs> so, wonderful opportunity to play really expressively. Lots of dynamics, lots of slowing up, lots of expressivo, lots of dolcissimo. Holding on to melodies, playing other things with a short, detached touch. Have a lot of fun working on this one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Take care. Bye-bye for now.